Here are my three favourite Adobe Audition vocal effects. Let's start with this voiceover I recorded earlier. This is a voiceover. And the best way to get any voiceover to sound crisp, clear, and cut across anything, like music and sound effects, is using a drop-off below a certain frequency. Now, you wouldn't do this on typical podcast or dialogue for video, but if you really want to make that real imaging sound, my favorite way to do this is go to the Effects menu. You want to go to Filter and EQ and look for the Scientific Filter, and there's a great preset in there called Drop-Off Below 250 Hertz. Let's listen. This is a voiceover it adds that real clarity to the voice let's disable it this is a voiceover so all those low-end rumbles go this is a voiceover and it sounds a lot better just with that preset so you can compress the voice enhance it and then add something like this and it will also cut across most music because it stops you competing with the bass end of music so it's really really cool especially if you're doing imaging and mixing i highly recommend drop off below 250 hertz in the scientific filter effect next I love myself a bit of chorus and flanger. And if you go into the effects menu under modulation, you've got chorus, you've got chorus flanger. All of this stuff is good. But if I had to pick something, I'd go into chorus and I'd look for something like the rich chorus. This is great. This is a voiceover. It makes the voiceover really big and stereo and wide. Rich chorus is the best place to start with this effect. But if you really want to dial in, you can change your delay time to be bigger. This is a voiceover. And it gets bigger. And if you want to introduce some wobbliness, this is a voiceover. Bring the feedback level up. And if you want it to make sounds like it's from a different planet, alien-like, move the modulation depth and rate. This is a voiceover fluttering in and out and I just love chorus just that whole modulation menu in Adobe Audition is awesome so that's effects modulation chorus chorus flanger flanger phaser play with them all they are really super awesome for adding effects to your spoken word and finally I really like this effect but it's going to be demonstrated to you in the multi-track and I'll show you why if I go into multi-track and if I call this echo it is an echo effect I called it echi never mind that'll do for me <laughs> I love my typing it's just fantastic I'm going to bring in a nice music bed that I'm going to put on track two that's 120 bpm I can see there now if I bring in my vo and drop it here this is a voice. Let's see if I can sync this up to the music beat. So let's go right back to the start and play. This. 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 Okay, let's really sync this up nicely. This. This. Let's sync it up here. This is. Okay, let's uh, back into multi track over here and we'll cut this bit and this bit. And we'll make this nicely sync on the beat here. This is a voiceover. And that works quite well. Now I'm just going to change the volumes so that they're not competing with match clip loudness and show you how good this can really sound. Turn this up a bit. This is a voiceover. Okay, now in the effects rack, I'm going to add echo. Let's go into uh, the echo opportunity here. Delay and echo, echo. And I find the default is quite good, but as I'm working with 120 BPM, I know that the left channel would be on 500 milliseconds for one beat. And we could say make the right channel half a beat, 250 milliseconds. And I like to use echo bounce so it bounces left to right. And we get something that sounds like this. This is a voiceover. And the echo nicely fades into the music track. Successive echo equalization here is great because what this is doing is rolling off the bass and with every echo, more treble is introduced to the voice. So it kind of fades into treble zone, which is really, really cool. So remember, if you want to make your voices sound epic, start with number one, roll off below 250 hertz in the scientific filter. Number two, play with chorus, but anything like chorus, flanger, and phase is really good for adding that stereo sound. 
and then over in multi-track add echo and add the delay time to fit up with the beats of the music you're working to and you'll get a really good sounding piece of audio i'm guessing if you've watched this far you probably really like adobe audition learn how to become a pro at adobe audition with my five simple tips the video is on your screen now